Okay, guys, I escaped the house and managed to get by a thrift store this afternoon when I was going to grocery shopping. So this is the these are the things I've picked up. This is the thrift store that has a ton of books when they really usually just have not as many as what they have right now. And I went there the other day with my three kids. This time I got there about 10 minutes before they closed. So like five minutes into looking, they started turning the lights out. And I was like, okay, so this isn't going to work out any much better than it was the last time. But I did manage to find a few things that I think will be really good. And this first one is a book, a set of five early readers. And they're level one and two books. And that is kind of the level we're on right now. So starts off very easy and then it kind of gets more wordy as you go through the book and Everett loves cars so this is right up his alley I'm trying to find what will spark that love of reading in him and so far it is a fight to get him to read this is an I spy book that's a early reader as well I thought this might be something he might like he likes to play I spy every now and then um, when we're out and about so just thought he might be interested in that and it's kind of think kind of a little bit fall themed so this is a dinosaur show and tell book and I thought this was cute and also we are going to have a dinosaur unit come up so this will probably be used during that time and it's something a level that he can probably read so that would be good this is just a classic story um I thought would be good probably for me to read to them a lot like during the summertime we tried out reading like the Bobsy twins and um Pollyanna the girls they had a hard time attending just because it didn't have a lot of pictures they did listen and ask a lot of questions but Elon's always like where's the picture that goes with that and um so but ever can listen at that level so that's a good thing we got Paddington I just think Paddington's cute always have, so I thought this was something that Everett will be able to read. So I thought that was cute. Curious George plays baseball. Elon loves baseball, so why not find out how Curious George got into trouble at the baseball field? Because you know he did. And I like Curious George. Um, Barn Dance. I recognize this author. Um, I want to say he did... Oh, what was it? Like, brown bear, what did you, what, brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? Maybe. He might have done Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. I don't even know, but I would recognize the name, so he did something I know. But, um, I thought this would be good for a forum unit. All these books were 25 cents, so, I mean, you can't beat 25 cents. I just can't believe how cheap their books are. It's awesome. Okay, this next one is Fraction Action, and I thought this was a good thing to bring out whenever we talk about fractions um because they do we do spiral math from with horizons math so um all the concepts he's doing like time and addition and fractions measurement it comes up like every few pages you'll have a fraction thing on there or you know each concept just kind of keeps popping up the whole year and they add to it the difficulty level so I thought this would be good to break out during a fractions unit just uh, or when it comes up in our unit just um, to look at and talk about and read and um, just kind of like math with literature kind of idea so you know just it looked cute I like the pictures the animals look cute 25 cents can't beat it and then the last one is Growing with Mathematics, and this is a McGraw-Hill book, and I really don't know what they used it for. It's like brand new, so apparently whoever had this didn't use it, but it looks like a really fun book to read, and it has all kinds of different concepts, like this one's time. I just think the pictures are really cute. Um, there's a baseball field one, and some of them, it's, it says, like, Make up edition stories, write the number facts. So you just look here and I guess, I mean, like you could say two plus two is four. I don't know. Um, different, you could use these down here. That, that might be a fun little activity to do. Just all kind of different things um, I thought would be fun. So that is what I got. 
Thanks for watching.